Hey guys, we're back, and this time we're taking a look at the Wizards and Spells expansion for Dungeon Drop. And this is a tiny little box, but it has uh, quite a bit of content in there for what it is, including a new game mode, as well as a module that can be added to your normal games. So we're going to get right in and take a look. So right on top here we have our rule book. And it's a tiny book, not many pages, but the first section is an overview of all the contents that are included. And a quick overview of the two different game modes that are in here. The Sinister Spells, which is a competitive mode for two to five players, allowing you to cast powerful spells against one another. This is basically can be plugged into a normal game of Dungeon Drop. The other one is the Wicked Wizards. And... This is a unique mode for three to five players and introduces a one versus many concept in the dungeon drop. One person's playing as the wicked wizard and the others are trying to stop him. There's all your extra components. Then we get into the sinister spells. You have your setup and how to play. And then the wicked wizard mode setup and how to play. And then some more rules for that one because that one's a little more complicated overall next thing we have here are our dice and I don't know why I mentioned this in the forums that when I originally saw <clears throat> when I originally saw this expansion the um, images made me think these were bigger like D6 size and I don't know why it makes perfect sense they're the same size as the large cubes from Dungeon Drop. We have a new fifth player icon meeple because the game can add up to a fifth player now. We've got some heart icons here. And then we've got our actual spell dice. Now each one of these has the same spell icon on it. They represent uh, those individual spells which are on the cards we'll get to here in a minute. And uh, these are going to be dropped into the dungeon and do various things. When you drop them in, they cast a spell. There's a uh, bag that you put them in when you're playing the uh, wizard mode. And uh, he draws out random ones to have a spell book to cast from. Next we have is our bag here. They went with a nice cotton. I think originally it was going to be like a, a crushed velvet felt type thing, but people mentioned that it attracts lint. So I like this. Got the embroidered logo on there. Okay, I have an extra string on mine. Oh, it's not attached. Okay, it was just loose string there. So yeah, that's nice. Simple and effective and enough small enough to fit in the bag or the box too, which is nice. And we have some various tokens in here. Uh, the phase shifter token. We have our fifth player token. We have a couple of spell tokens. And a fifth player token to go on the score track. And finally in the bottom here we have our spell cards. Each one of these pertains to a specific one of the dice. So you can match up the die that goes with it and this is what those specific dice do as far as the spells go so we have quake snare command siphon shock charm warp petrify and doom gate i think that's all of them that's all of those and then you'll have to pause it if you want to read each one. I kind of flipped through them pretty fast there. But on the back, you have the new round structure. There's the player turns. And uh, they added a new phase for this. After the explore phase, you have a spell phase in which you can uh, cast your uh, uh, spells. In the base game, you're going to take your cube. You're going to drop it into the dungeon and do whatever the corresponding spell effect is. In the um, Wicked Wizard mode... That's when the wizard's going to have its chance to um, activate abilities. And that's pretty much all that changed there. 
Again, it's a cool new module that you can add and mix and match in your games. You can add it in if you want to, and then add that little bit more complexity, add that new game type, add the new style, um, the ability to have a fifth player now. But also you can do the one versus many aspect, which is a completely different game experience, I think. And um, it just uh, it makes it feel like something new and different. It does require that you use the new Fearless Fellowship mode, where the players are working co-op together, and the new um, cards that go along with that. But um, you're doing a one versus many anyway, so you're going to be doing a co-op anyway, so it makes sense that it uses those. However, that does mean that it also requires the Drop Too Deep expansion to use that, so keep that in mind. Uh, this came out the same time Drop Too Deep did, so that kind of makes sense too. But it's something worth noting that you do need that expansion if you want to play the Wicked Wizard mode. I believe you can play the standard mode just with the base Dungeon Drop game. So if you don't have Drop Too Deep, there's still some use there. And uh, that one's kind of neat is you just get single cubes that you can drop back into the dungeon for the effects on your turn after you do your exploration. Overall, though, I think it's a cute little expansion. It adds some new content to Dungeon Drop and Drop Too Deep, if you have both. And it adds a new way to play the game with that Wicked Wizard mode, adding a completely new game type. It's basically a spin-off of the co-op game type that's in Drop Too Deep, but it adds a little bit more in there, too. Instead of just working together to complete the quests, you're working together to complete the... Uh, or to defeat the Wicked Wizard. I'm glad I picked it up though. I think it adds uh, just some more uh, fun and variety to the game. I love the modular nature of the game that you can mix and match and add things that you want. Do you want to play with the bosses and things from Drop Too Deep? Do you want to play with the extra add-ons like the skeleton skulls? Do you want to play with the bell cubes? Little things that you can mix and match and add to customize up your game, change it up, make it different every time you play. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for our quick look at the Wizards and Spells expansion for Dungeon Drop. Hope it helps you decide if it's something worth picking up. And either way, as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.